All right, everybody, so we got the Smitty Built Scout here. Um, this is highly modified, but I uh, wanted to run you guys through it. We've had a bunch of people take a look at it when we're out camping um, and have asked if I've got a video or something because they want to take a look and maybe try to replicate. A uh, huge proponent of the Smitty Built platform. They do a really good job. Um, I know there have been some issues with cracking. Uh, we didn't experience anything, but just to be safe, we actually added some reinforcement brackets here underneath, and then I welded a new center beam that goes all the way back uh, to the main part of the frame, just to be sure. Um, haven't had any issues with it. Don't expect to have any issues, but just uh, at an abundance of caution. So I, I think three big things that we've done with this uh, would be electric, water, and propane. So I guess we'll start with, uh, start with the electric. Um, so for charging, we have a couple different ways to charge. We have a shore charger that's plugged in here now since we're at the house. We've tapped into the seven pin connector and have leads to our battery. So while we're in tow, we're charging. And then we also have a solar panel. It's only a 20 watt panel. The idea is that it provides enough amperage when you're at camp, not hooked up to your car to keep the fridge live because um, the fridge ends up being the biggest battery drain. So with this setup, you can basically just keep going and don't have any worries about power. So all of our power distribution starts in here. Like I said, we went with the NOCO Genius for the shore charger. That's the back side of this plug. Um, for the solar, I've got the uh, controller right here. It was just a $50 kit on Amazon, um, kind of generic. And then we have two deep cycle marine batteries. So those go into this main switch and that main switch then feeds the inverter. We want it the 2000 watt so we can bring our Nespresso, blender, you know, whatever it is we want for uh, AC current. And then that feeds with two, a positive and negative line, two lines back to a control box. So that'll show you, it makes it pretty slick. So this is a, a plug from the inverter. Basically just took a old surge protector and cut it and then fed that in through, uh, again, just on Amazon, this AC plug that's got a waterproof seal on it once you bolt it in. It's worked really nicely. So, like I said, all of our main power distribution comes from this box here. It's right on the side, right where you cook. When it's turned on, it gives you the voltage, so you make sure you're good to go. Uh, it's got the water pump. Uh, we have a little spotlight, so you can see when you're cooking at night. And then uh, the seven gallon water heater uh, is what that guy is. So um, this is how you turn on the inverter. So the inverter is now on. You could go ahead and plug in whatever you need to here up to 2000 watts, which is kind of a lot. Uh, it can run a coffee maker, espresso machine, anything like that. So go ahead and turn that off. Uh, this panel that we bought, this was from Amazon pre-wired. It's worked out really great. It's got a regular 12 volt cigarette plug two USB plugs there. And I added a second set of USB plugs. When it's just my wife, and two kids and I, we never need more than the two USB plugs, but we go out with friends a lot and find that having the extra USB plugs is helpful because nobody else uh, has power typically. So that's worked out really good. Um, so for water, water was an interesting one. Uh, for any of you that have studied the Smitty Bolt Scout trailer have noticed obviously that we don't have the spare tire here. We'll get to that in a minute. It's actually off the back. Um, we knew we wanted water and we knew we didn't want to take up any precious cargo space inside the trailer for water. So a 30 gallon water tank, RV water tank, actually fits perfect. You'll see it's flush on this end and it's flush on this end. We have a, a little half inch square tubed frame that we built that fits around the water tank to keep it in place. Got that powder coated and then got some sheet metal formed uh, and powder coated. My dad helped me with all that. Um, we have access to metal working equipment. So um, it was uh, not too bad. So that holds the water tank in place. It's 30 gallons. We have a uh, height measure there. So you get an idea of how much water you've got. We're about half full right now. And then we bought an RV fill spout. So that's where you'd fill up. Like I mentioned, we have a water heater. So that's the front of the water heater. That's where it vents. There's an outdoor shower, which gets used all the time. And then in here is where we distribute water, propane, etc. So 
That's the water heater. This is your hot and cold lines. That's the 12 volt water pump that feeds from the actual water tanks and then lines feeding the shower. So water gets used on a couple of main items. Basically have water for the shower and then water for the sink. And so most Smitty Built Scout trailers, when you open that door, it's got a slide and it's got a spot where you would put a little, you know, grill or, you know, two, two stove burner, something of that sorts. Uh, we wanted something that was a little nicer and had a sink built in. And so actually ended up buying an under counter organizer. We had to modify it by chopping these shorter and then re-drilling and tapping new holes on the sides here to get this to fit a little lower, but it's worked out great. Um, you've got room for all your dishes, dish soap, hand soap. We actually use the blender bottle for pancakes. It mixes pancakes really nicely. It keeps it clean and organized. And then down below, we've got spices. So salt, pepper, things that get used all the time. Dish towels, paper towels, you know, more seasoning, oil. And then you've got all of your utensils right in there. Below that, this slides out. And what you've now got is a twin burner, hot, cold water sink. So if you kind of come back a little bit and think about the workflow, you've got your burner, your sink, all your utensils right there. You have your power distribution. You can turn your light on, which shines really nicely right on your work surface when it's dark out. And then the fridge is in the back, and we'll get to that in a second. So, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of the... Uh, the water side of things uh, covers the electrical. I guess the last thing is propane, um, which gets used for the water heater. It gets used for the stove, obviously. We've mounted the tank on the side using a power tank. And then we actually did a, a quick disconnect. So we have a propane lead right there that the grill hooks into, which is really convenient. So we have a, a little folding table that we'll put right on the edge of where the stove is, kind of a continuation and uh, the grill goes on there. And that works out great. We use the grill for everything. Um, it's just a little Weber Q. I think it's the Weber Q 1000. I have no issues with that. Smitty built rooftop tent. Went with the ARB awning, uh, which covers you nicely over here. So yeah, so on the back, right? So spare tire normally goes there. We decided to put water there to kind of help with tongue weight and then to also give us uh, some extra gas had a, a local person fab up a rear bumper for us. So the rear bumper has spots for two jerry cans, your spare tire, and it's a swing out. We got the trash roux on there. It just swings open like that. And then we were able to mount, that'll stop there. Able to mount an ax and a shovel on the back side, And so, In your main compartment here, we use the front runner boxes. They stack really nicely in this space. The, the large one fits long ways and the smaller ones fit sideways and you can stack them too high. We got some bungee straps that strap that down. And then we have the Dometic fridge freezer here. So um, it works out kind of nice. You have the fridge slid out. You've got your cooking space out, your power box open. With your awning open, it kind of creates a nice little kitchen space. So we actually end up getting some LED strung lights that when it's uh, dark out and the awning's open, we'll kind of hang them around the awning and uh, ends up being where people hang out if you don't have a campfire going. It works out good. I'd say the, uh, the only other thing worth mentioning that we've added is a side box. Um, this is really helpful. So basically this has all the things that you need right when you get to camp. And it has all the things that you put away right before you leave camp. So uh, it normally has a big stack of these blocks. Obviously, we're using them because the trailer's parked. It's got room for chocks, which we're currently using. We have the extension cord in there, which we're currently using. And then it's got a hose, tie down, stakes, hammer. We've got a pair of work gloves in there. Uh, just kind of miscellaneous things that you find that you need right when you get to camp. And then, like I said, last things you put away before you leave camp. 
Uh, we've got the Smitty Bolt rooftop tent. We had a Tapui for a long time. What we found is that the earlier model Tapuis, we had our Tapui from uh, 2014. Uh, the floor was really thin sheet metal. And we found that when you moved around, it kind of creaked and gave in and it just didn't feel very secure. And so the newer Smitty Bolts, really, really well made. Uh, they're, you know, a half to a third of the cost of some of your higher end 23.0 and Tapui models. And in our experience, they've actually worked just as good. Um, have not had any issues with it, which has been nice. So yeah, I think that's it. If there's anything else you wanna see, uh, let me know. We're happy to keep doing reviews. We actually have this thing listed for rent on Outdoorsy. So if you're in the Phoenix, Arizona area and you wanna check it out and take, you know, go use it, you're welcome to rent it. It's on Outdoorsy. Um, if you're looking to build one yourself and you're in the Phoenix area and you wanna come check it out in person, just message me. Um, no worries.